I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on exponential functions. In this video, we'll discuss how do we solve exponential equations, especially when we have x square square root in the equation. In case you want to learn from me, you can always write an email to the address given. Also check our website for the latest videos. Now we have four questions in this particular video. All the four have one thing in common, and that is in the exponential equation, we have a term which is x square square root. Now, can you tell me what is the value of square root of x square? Well, some of you think it is x. Well, that is incorrect. So what is correct? The correct value is that x square root of x square is always positive and therefore it is absolute value of x. You understand? So it is important to note that square root of x square is absolute value of x and not just x. And that makes a huge difference. Most of the answers with square root of x square will have a value which is plus and minus, since we are talking about absolute x function. Also note that many books have given wrong answer. Right? Let me write down a note here, right? Many books do not consider So many books do not consider. So that is something very important to understand. However, as you can see, that square root of x square is not x, but absolute value of x. Solving equation will involve understanding of absolute functions also. Now, with that in mind, I'd like you to pause the video, copy these questions, solve, and then check with my solutions. Let's begin with the very first one, which is, 1 over 16 to the power of 1 over 4 plus 8 over 27 to the power of 1 over 3 is equal to square root of x square. Let's see how to solve it. Well, begin with writing them as exponents of the base, which has the fourth power and the third power. So 1 over 16 can be written as 1 over 2 to the power of 4, correct? So as you can see, that 16 is 2 to the power of 4. And now here we have a power 1 over 4. So 1 over 4 times 2 to the power of 4 will give you half. You get the idea. So that is the concept of solving exponential equations with radical or with rational exponents. So in case of 8 over 1 over 3, we know 8 is 2 cube, and we know 27 is 3 cube. So replace 8 over 27 with 2 cube over 3 cube. Now that is to the power of 1 over 3, so that will be written as 2 over 3. So I hope this part is absolutely clear. An absolute of value of square root of x squared is absolute value of x. So write it as absolute value of x. Now at this stage, it is a simple fraction to be evaluated. We can take the common denominator and cross multiply. So 3 plus 4 over 6, we get 7 over 6 as absolute value of x. So now, what is the value of x? Well, the x value should be plus and minus 7 over 6. I think you've understood it. Not just 7 over 6, right? It has to be plus and minus 7 over 6. So, so we get our answer that x is equal to plus and minus 7 over 6. Correct. At this stage, I would like you to check the answer. So I have shown you with minus 7 over 6. Well, you have doubt on this, right? Okay. So in some books, that is not the answer, unfortunately, right? They are all wrong. Okay. So when we have minus 7 over 6 whole square, it becomes what? It becomes positive 7 over 6 
and we know square root is always positive, we do get 7 over 6 as expected. And therefore, both these solutions will work for you. Perfect. I hope that is absolutely clear. Now, with this in mind, solve the other questions. Here is the solution for the second one. Now, in this case, I've slightly changed the question with negative in between. However, rest of the things are kind of very similar to what we have. We repositioned it. So, 8 over 27 is written as 2 cube over 3 cube, 1 over 16 as 1 over 2 to the power of 4. Square root of x squared is absolute value of x. Simplify the fractions, you get 1 over 6. So, the answer should be plus and minus 1 over 6. You can always verify the solution. So when you use the negative value of 1 over 6 and square it, it becomes positive. And therefore, that is the correct solution. Correct? You should remember this. Now, another thing to look into it is this. When we talk about square root of x squared, what is domain of x in this case? So domain in this case is x belongs to real numbers. Correct? It can have all the real values. And therefore, you should understand that square root of x squared should be equal to absolute value of x, right? Square root of x squared is not equal to x. Consider the domain and then justify your answer if you want to. Correct. Now, let's look into the third question. This time, we have the fourth root of x to the power of 4, 1 plus cube root of 1 over 8 and the fourth root of 16. Well, fourth root of x to the power of 4 will also be an absolute function, correct? x could be negative because when you square it, you get a positive number. So on the similar lines, I could write x to the power of 4, fourth root as absolute value of x. Now 1, I have copied as such, 1 over 8 whole cube means, cube root means 1 over 2 cube cube root and 16 is written as 2 to the power of 4 and then the fourth root clearly we get absolute value of x plus 1 plus half plus 2 adding these fractions we get 7 over 2 that means the answer should be plus minus 7 over 2 clear again you can verify that minus values also work so i hope these things are absolutely clear here is the Fourth question, the last question of our examples with square root of x squared. In this case, the equation is square root of x squared is equal to cube root of 1 over 27 minus fourth root of 81. I'd like you to pause the video and solve this question. Well, when you solve, you'll get square root of x squared as absolute x. 1 over 27 can be written as 1 over 3 cubed, whose cube root will be 1 over 3. 81 can be written as 3 to the power of 4, and its fourth root will be 3. 1 over 3 minus 3 will give us a negative number. The absolute value can never be negative, correct? Therefore, in this particular case, we have no solution. And answer is no solution. Perfect. Well, absolute value is never negative. That is what it is. You cannot write a negative value here, right? So, well, if I write a negative value, what is the answer? Well, let's check, right? When we check square root of negative 8 over 3 square, what do we get? We get square root of 8 over 3 square, right? Which is 8 over 3, and this is not equal to minus 8 over 3. You get the idea. So we want it absolute value to be, or even if you write x, to be negative 8 over 3, since right-hand side, in this case, is negative 8 over 3, right? So we'll never get negative 8 over 3. Perfect. So that is what is important. Now, in this case, what should you consider? Well, what is the range of square root of x squared? Well, the range is that x is greater than or equal to I should say y, right? x is all real numbers, so y is greater than or equal to 0. So if it is negative, I should write y equals to x squared, so y is greater than or equal to 0. If it is negative, then we have no solution. Is that clear to you, right? You, I think now you can connect it better. So that is how we should be looking into questions which involve 
square root of x square. Now that is key for this particular video. I hope you have understood the concept. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.